Saudi Arabia is shutting down half of its oil production after drone attack, WSJ says. Here's a summary of the article. Saudi Arabia is shutting down half of its oil production after drones attacked the world's largest oil processing facility in the kingdom, The Wall Street Journal reported. Early Saturday, an oilfield operated by Saudi Aramco, the state-owned oil giant, was attacked by a number of drones, which sparked a huge fire at a processor crucial to global energy supplies. The Saudi Interior Ministry said the fires were under control, according to state-run Saudi press agency. Saudi officials are considering drawing down their oil stocks to sell to foreign buyers to make sure world oil supplies won't be disrupted by the attack and shutdown, the WSJ reported. Lipau noted over 4 million barrels per day of Saudi oil exports go to Asia, while the U.S. imports about 600,000 barrels. The Iran-backed how this had been behind a series of attacks on Saudi pipelines, tankers and other infrastructure in the past few years as tensions rise among Iran and the U.S. and partners like Saudi Arabia. The latest attack came as Saudi Arabia moves forward to take Saudi Aramco public in a major shakeup of the kingdom's energy sector. This post received a score of 14,189, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This is why every other country should take note and understand the concept of energy independence. Any oil price fluctuation on the international markets severely impact countries like India and China who import most of their oil. If China can reduce its dependence on Middle Eastern oil by 30%, move its critical transportation infrastructure to electric, its transportation sector is no longer affected by international oil price fluctuation. You are an idiot if you think solar panel can replace all oil. We are not talking about replacing all oil. Many countries, especially, India, China, Japan and South Korea, which are large economies with not much oil producing capacity are building up large national oil reserves. Well that, and the fact that however rich you are, you still need to breathe. Just crack open a can of O'Hare Air TM. Capitalism fixes all problems. S. I am partial to Perry Air. Ah, another being of culture, I see. President Scroop? Hail S-K-R-O-O-B. I'm surrounded by assholes. Keep firing assholes. Are we going to have a boom in U.S. oil production again because of this? The boom is already here. Now they're going to crank up prices and make some real money. Dude, tons of oil workers are getting laid off right now. That boom is dead. It's a boom and bust industry. It'll boom again, then bust again, then boom again, etc. Sounds kind of familiar, I think I have a vague memory that this is something that has happened before. History. That shit repeats and we are all stuck in the time loop. Y'all ready for that WWIII shit? Recently sacked John Bolton as spinning in his crypt. Yemen's how the rebels have claimed responsibility for this attack. Meanwhile the drones appear to have come from Iran. Jet fuel can't melt SEAL teams. Jim Beam can't beat Sean Bean. The reason Sean Bean dies in all his movies is because the universe is broken in this timeline because his name doesn't rhyme. Sean Bon. Sheen Bean. Sayon Bayon. World's largest oil producing facility in the kingdom. HWAT. The kingdom has several production facilities, most of which are incredibly important globally. The war in Yemen has been a phenomenal debacle and embarrassment for the Saudis. Sooner or later they are going to have to face facts and admit defeat. Their allies, cum rivals have already abandoned them. America backs the Saudis unconditionally. If 15 Saudis flew planes into New York buildings Americans would PRBLY prefer to bomb Iraq, Afghanistan or Iran. Wait a minute. That's illegal. Shoot her, or something. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.